for the Jackson Pine Farm and Market. I'm Lauren Jackson and I wanted to share with you how to build your own essential oil diffusing succulent terrarium. Now, for easy sake, I'm just gonna use a pot that I have. You can use whatever you like. If you use glass, you wanna be really careful because when you place it in sunlight, it's gonna be reflective of light and so it's gonna get double the amount of sunlight it needs. Now, you can purchase this kit through our website and I'll have all available links um, in the video below where you can purchase um, this particular kit and any other extras um, that you need in order to make your own at home. Now, first up, you pick your pot. So today, this is the pot that I'm going to use. Um, it's this pretty little geometric pattern, okay? Now, your kit is going to come with several things. The first thing it's gonna come with is pea gravel. This is pea gravel. It's about the size of a pea, all right? So you're just gonna cover the bottom. I have some styrofoam in the bottom of mine. Um, just a thin layer of this on the bottom. This is going to help drain the excess water to the bottom so it doesn't drown your plant, okay? So you'll put your pea gravel in, just a nice little, little layer on the bottom. I saved myself some more um, that I had left over for another one. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is add your activated charcoal. This charcoal is going to remove the toxins um, from the air where your plant is placed. All right, you just want a thin layer of that just to cover the pea girl I'd show you, but then it will all mix together. All right, now the diffuser itself is in the plant will also help remove toxins, but that charcoal also helps. Um, it helps it remove it from the soil and everything. All right. So, the very next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the soil. Now, there's a particular type of soil that you should use whenever you're doing cactus or succulents, anything that's a dry, dry plant, okay? So, I'm going to try to do this without making a tremendous mess, at least on the top. And we're just going to add that in. And I'm going to fill it about halfway and then I'm going to pick out my succulents. I have some succulents behind me. Um, for something this size, you could do um, a large, like two and a half inch. And then you could also do a small, like two inch one. You can get all of these lovely things off the internet. Who knew? All right. So I've got it about half full, as you can see there. And now I'm going to pick out which plants I want to plant. All right, so these look really, really funky, but I have some over here too I might choose. Let's see what I have over here. Um, this one looks fun. And this one, I kind of like these together. Okay, so I have this little guy. He's kind of tall, and then I have this one. This is a two and a half inch. Um, this one was supposed to be a small one, but as you can see, it's kind of the bigger of the two. So I think these will look really good together. I'm going to take them out. When they arrive, they're going to be super, super dry. You're going to, they're just not very, they don't hold up well without the sun. And so if you wet them, then you're drowning them as they're um, tra in transportation. So you're going to notice that the soil is really dry. When they arrive, if you're not ready to plant them, just mist them a little bit um, with a little spray bottle. And that will help them kind of settle in um, and keep their, keep their life. And if you've never worked with plants before, you just want to gently break apart um, the base of the soil just so that you get the roots kind of loose so that it can soak up and so it's ready to absorb that water. All right, I'm going to add some more because I don't know that I want it to hang that low. All right, you can also use a glass terrarium um, and hang this as well. I have a few of those myself. This one's a little more moist, so I'm going to break it apart. Oh, that, see, so much easier. All right, you can arrange it however you like. There's no rhyme or reason to it. If you have any questions, shoot us an email at jacksonpinefarm at gmail.com and we'll be happy to help you. With your terrarium kit, you're also gonna get um, a tip guide. It's gonna tell you how to care for your plant. Um, so it's going to tell you all the care tips that you need to make sure that you keep your plant alive. And succulents are the easiest plants to keep alive, but they're also the easiest plants to kill because you can overwater them. They don't require a lot of water. They like the sun. They don't like the shade. I mean, what plants do, right? Um, I mean, ferns maybe. All right, so I have a nice little layer of soil on top, and I have my two little succulent plants planted in there. 
Now I'm going to move on to decorating. All right, so now I'm gonna take my moss. The moss is very, um, as you can see, porous. And so that's going to really be the key to diffusing. Um, you can use moss or you can use a uh, lava rock and not to be confused with lava beads, which it's made from the same thing, um, but they're porous, just like this, have big holes in them, and they allow it to, allow the plant to collect the water over time instead of drenching them, if you will. All right, so I have this funky, cool green color added to it, um, and then you can place your rocks around. I love the white contrast. I mean, look how pretty that is. Gorgeous. Okay. Now I had those from a different place. So I have the little dark rocks as well. You could use pea gravel. All right, so here's our terrarium. Beautiful, it's gonna go in the sun. I also have another one. I have several. <laughs> They're some of my favorite plants. Cause again, like I hate watering plants. I hate the, I, I love planting them, but I wanna leave them alone. I think that the outdoors should take care of them. Okay, now we're gonna make a terrarium mist. This mist is key because what you use in it can actually repel bugs, aka normally bugs are attracted to plants. What we wanna do is we want to detract the bugs from eating the plants. So you're gonna need some distilled water. You're gonna fill this pretty much full, okay? It's gonna come with this pretty little label on it. And after you put the water in, then you're gonna add two drops of lavender and two drops of tea tree. The lavender is what is what I've already I already have it in here, or else I would do it for you. But it's just two drops, and then you can shake it up. I can smell it already. And then you're just gonna spray it every once in a while. Excuse me. He loves to smell the plants. The plants are his favorite. He's like, why can't I get up there, mom? Okay. So you're just going to mist the plant to where the moss is damp. Okay. Just a nice little coat of water. And then as the soil gets really, really dry, you just want to just put your finger in it. You can feel it. Told you he loves the plants. Um, you're going to want to add more to it. Now, if you don't happen to have any essential oils on you, but you happen to have Thieves Household Cleaner, which I had a moment ago to show you, and now I don't. So I'll grab another bottle. All right. So this is our Thieves Household Cleaner. In order to make an entire bottle that literally is great for everything, these is actually made out of plants, and so it's based in of essential oils made of plants, and so it's plant safe. Just like it's safe for um, anything else. Spraying um, the floors, cleaning the floors, cleaning glass, cleaning wood, anything and everything. Thieves is amazing. You can even spray your plants. And if you couldn't, I wouldn't do this, okay? But I just learned this, and I think it's incredible. So this guy, he's a lot dry. So I'm gonna spray him down with Thieves, and now, guess what? Not only do I have a beautiful decoration here as a plant, plants make me happy, okay? I also have a diffuser because now it smells like Christmas. It's going to repel bugs with that lavender there and the spices in this, and it's going to remove the toxins from the air. So how amazing is that, that you get all of that just by making a succulent terrarium and having a little fun? I am so excited that you joined me. I hope that you'll buy a kit and do this yourself with your kiddos or with your family or a friend. Have a girls night out. Enjoy this video for many years to come. I hope that you enjoyed yourselves and check us out at jacksonpinefarm.com.